beautiful sunset over the Mackinac Bridge. Hello everybody, and happy Monday, October 2nd, and I am standing in our Airbnb in front of Lake Huron, and today is Mackinac Island Day. Last night was like Christmas Eve, couldn't wait. It rained all day yesterday, but that was okay because we spent the day playing Phase 10. We got, we, we got some fudge that um, when we got here on Saturday, so we snacked on that. We had some Mamma Mia's Pizzeria, which is my favorite pizza place, uh, which I'm the only one that really cares for. Nobody else, everybody else was like, eh, but it's, it's, you have to, you have to, for me at least. But the, today is going to be beautiful and we're going to be spending it on Mackinac Island. So I am going to be vlogging a little bit while I'm there. Not a lot for this vlog today, simply because I am filming a full video for the Misty Show. So if you want to see our day on Mackinac Island, make sure that you are subscribed to the Misty Show because that video will be up over there. But I will pop in here from time to time for the, for the for the vlog, but the majority of the time is going to be for um, a video on the Misty Show. But all right, happy Mackinac Island Monday! All right, we are at the dock. We're getting ready to get on the ferry. This is the Mackinac Island ferry, which I think used to be Arnold. I think it used to be Arnold, but now it is the Mackinac Island ferry. So we're getting ready to get on. All right, you can see those are the ferries. So it used to be Star Line. Starline and it was now it's the Mackinac Island Ferry and as we wait we can see the mighty Mac in the distance to see it right there right there the very tops of the Mackinac Bridge the mighty Mac so that is an icon here in Mackinac City as well it takes you over to the Upper Peninsula which we will be doing um, tomorrow and uh, I'm so excited I cannot wait I cannot wait get me on the ferry sir you can see the lucky, the lucky people that get their luggage delivered here. They get, they're staying on the island. We are not. We're going to in July, but then Emma had her gallbladder and we had to, you know, we had to be there for that. So we will soon. The seagulls. We're so excited. All right, so we are on the island, and like I said, you are going to be able to see the full experience if you watch on the Misty Show. We are, we just ate lunch at Pink Pony, and we're getting ready to get on bikes to ride bikes around the island. It's a beautiful day here on Mackinac Island. It's October 2nd. It's like a hug. It's just, it's just perfect. The weather is perfect. There isn't a ton of people. So it honestly is the perfect, the perfect day. I'm very sad that we're leaving. It makes me want to cry. But something exciting happened while we were here. Emma, what happened? This is my daughter, Emma. She got engaged here today on the island. So that makes Mackinac Island for us even more magical and special. So her now fiance proposed to her over near Arch Rock. So it makes Mackinac Island just that much more magical. So now we have a wedding to plan. And don't think I didn't get a brochure about having a wedding on Mackinac Island because I did. So we are on the ferry going back. We just left the island, but it's a beautiful night. See a beautiful sunset over the Mackinac Bridge. And tomorrow, oh, there's Emma. Tomorrow we're going over the bridge into St. Ignace. So tomorrow I'll take you along with us over to St. Ignace. Do a little bit of shopping and explore the Upper Peninsula. Good morning and happy October 3rd. We are still in Mackinac. I'm walking down wet stairs, so I gotta be careful. At an Airbnb, this is our view of beautiful Lake Huron. We're on this side of the bridge, so it's here on the other side of the bridge is Lake Michigan. But isn't this beautiful? It's kind of wet. It's it rained all day on Sunday. Yesterday was a gorgeous day, but it is, I think it rained a little bit last night. And it's just so fun. We have not played volleyball. 
And we haven't had a campfire yet. I don't know if we're going to do that tonight or not. We like to play games, and so we tend to like to play games of the evening when we're all together. But my, fa- my mom, my mother-in-law and father-in-law are here, Emma and Colin. We had an amazing day yesterday on the island, which is right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. See that there? That's the fort. That there is the Grand Hotel. And we were on that porch yesterday. So we have a great island view. And if you've got binoculars, that's nice too. You can really zoom in and see. But I just wanted to take you down to the shoreline because we can also see the bridge from our cabin or our house. Our Airbnb. And there she is. The Mighty Mac. We're going to be crossing over that today. Going over there into St. Ignace, Ignis, which is the upper peninsula of Michigan. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. I love that sound. Mark's getting in the water to look at this rock. Try to figure out if it's a Petoskey stone. I don't know. I think it's just pitted. Well, I don't know. Oops. I really don't know. I used to be able to point them out real quick, but I've lost my touch. You find them all over in the gift shops, that's for sure. A beautiful fall day. I wish I was right back there again. My favorite place, the island. Look what Mark did. He put a big heart in the sand. All right, so we're getting ready to leave to drive over the bridge. And I bought this book at a thrift store when we were on our way up. But you can see here, these are the comparisons. So this is the Brooklyn Bridge. And we've got George Washington Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, and then here is the Mackinac Bridge. So it is, what, 8,000, or 8,614 feet. And it opened November 1st, 1957. So it was kind of neat. You can see that kind of the comparisons from the sizes. So they call it the Mighty Mac because it's the world's largest. Well, I don't know if it's the world's largest suspension bridge now. Because this book was put out a long time ago. But at the time, it, it's bigger than the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I, know, I think that it's the world's, the U.S.'s largest sus- suspension bridge. So... They overbuilt it, actually, so it's a pretty sturdy bridge, but it's kind of freaky when you go over it, but we're going to do that today. Hey, correction. Correction. So the the actual suspension part is 3,800 feet. Okay. Golden Gate is 4,200 feet. See how from here, you know, see how that distance is. Right. Okay. So... What is the Mackinac? It's the longest. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the long, but not the biggest sprint suspension bridge. Golden Gate is a bigger suspension bridge. Okay, so don't come at us in the comments. We corrected ourselves. All right, we are on the road to the bridge. You can see it there in the distance. It is, I think it's either 4 or $5 toll to go over the bridge.
so we went over the bridge. What do, oh, there's the bridge behind us. What do you think? Was it magical? And now we're going into St. Ignace and we're gonna explore a little bit around St. Ignace and be in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Look, there's the bridge right there behind me. So we are in St. Ignace at the Huron Boardwalk Lighthouse and Fishing Pier. And it's a little lighthouse. We're gonna walk out there to the, see the lighthouse on the dock. But it's, we're here in October like, and there's not a lot of people here. So, but we kind of like it that way. But it is definitely a beautiful day. I don't know that there's a lot of people in St. Ignace anyway. I, you know what, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you go to St. Ignace in the summer, is it a bustling little town? You can, yeah, you can uh, catch the ferry to, from St. Ignace and go to the island. The island is just right there. I do believe, I don't know for sure, but I do believe that St. Ignace is closer to Mackinac Island than Mackinac City is. We're just gonna take a little stroll. Now in the summertime, they do fireworks every Friday and Tuesday. This is Chief Watam, Wabatam Park. What's it called, Colin? Chief what? Chief Wabatam. The water is so clear. Sure is a pretty day. Says revenue derived from oil, gas, and mineral production from the state-owned lands provides funding for this public recreation site. There's all kinds of little things down there. We're gonna when we walk after we go down to the lighthouse, we'll check that out over there. So the chief dock, the boardwalk on which you're standing. It's constructed on what is affectionately referred to by local residents as the Chief Dock. It is previous home to Chief Wawatem, a hand-fired coal-burning train car ferry built by the Toledo Ship Shipbuilding Company for the Mackinac Transportation Company and launched on August 26, 1911, one year before the Titanic sank. At 330 in feet in length, and a beam of 62 inches feet feet her main business was to transport train cars carrying up to 26 at a time across the straits of mackinac between michigan's upper and lower peninsulas because the chief loaded and unloaded her cars at the bow the sea gate had to be raised to permit the cars to be pushed off the train's deck the oh wow so transport train cars yeah that was way before the bridge was here and we had seen in the book that book that i had showed earlier that people would line up they would take ferry boats with their cars that's the reason why the train tracks are there um in memorial yeah that's pretty cool well, i'm gonna go over and ring that bell over there well there's a bunch of big birds over there geese We're just gonna, you're just gonna walk along with me. We're gonna explore the chief dock. The leaves next week is supposed to be peak leaf season here, so we just missed it by a week, but it's supposed to be much colder next week. So we couldn't beat the weather for sure. This was the dock for the train cars back in the day in regards to that sign that I just read. Here is the house.
whenever I see a lighthouse, my mind always goes to uh, Pete's Dragon. I'll be your candle on the water, Emma. Who else? Anybody else think that too? That's where my mind transfixes to Pete's Dragon. So we think this is part of the actual rail that was on the rail cars that would come up here on the pier back in the day. A lot of history. I want to ring the bell. Does it allow us to ring it? <gasps> oh my <laughs> mercy! Good gracious! This antique railroad bell with a classic ring is from a coal-fired, steam-powered locomotive that was popular in the late 1880s in the hard rock mining and logging industries. Wow. But that's how you have to push it? Uh, or you can ding it from up yeah, there. Yeah, it used to be that way, but yes. Okay. Yeah, that, good job, Mark. Thanks. Colin just read a sad story to us. So the ship here, Chief Wawatam, basically went under when the bridge opened because it wasn't needed anymore. Um, and, and the Wawatam, the meaning, little flashes or reflections of light. light. And the ferry was dropped dramatically in 1957 with the opening of the bridge. In 1984, the dock in St. Ignace, which is right along where we were walking, collapsed and the ferry stopped running. In 1988, she was sold and converted into a barge that worked until it was scrapped in 2009. Oh, that's so sad. The A-frame, which controlled the landing, collapsed in 2011. Well, that's kind of a sad story. Well, well, there's lots of history here, for sure. That was really kind of a sad story, but I guess that's what happens when things progress. I don't want to go out on that dock. It's like, it's like, like that. No, it's not the mystery spot, which I really want to go to. I got to convince Mark to take us to the mystery spot. Cause I want to go there. No, he's walking up. You might lean back and fall backwards. If you sit down on that. Nope, nope. We just turned on the splash pad. I bet this place is full of kids in the summertime. That's a cute little thing because it looks like it mimics the lighthouse. So we are by Highly recommended by a lot of viewers said to stop into Horns Odds and Ends here in St. Ignace. So it's just what we're going to do. This is a sweet little antique store. So we're just going to take a browse around in here. See if there's any, any cool things. There's some sun catchers of a little poodle. Oh, we've got some glowy glass up here, some jadeite, and some Vaseline glass. Ooh, this is Fitz and Floyd shell. And koi. Bird cat. Oh, look, little Woodstock's down there in his little nest. Pitchforks, skis. Boy, this is something that you don't see up where we live very often are snow skis. Snowshoes. You see these. Yeah, you see these, but you don't see a lot of snowshoes and snow skis. So I didn't I did get a few things in there, but it was kind of pricey, and that's one of the things that we've kind of figured out. It's it's hard to buy stuff up here. It is pricey. Not but I did get these were all just various horse ribbons. But they say Mackinac Island Junior Humane Society Annual Horse Show 1974. So I got some, I got a green one, several blue or blue, purple. This one's first place. This one's from 1979. 
and I got a red one and a yellow one. This one's from 1975. One of the 1975s I'm going to keep because that's when I was born, but the rest of them I will sell if there's any interest in those, but that's what I got in there. They were $2 a piece. Well, we are at McGulpin Point Lighthouse, and it is a museum. It costs $3 a person to get in. You can get up there to the top and see the views. And so we're going to go up there today. This is also in Mackinac City. It's a beautiful day. I don't know what this little barn is. We can go check out the barn first. But Gulpin Point, a work in progress. The nice thing here, they do have a self-guided tour. So you go up to these little um, signs and um, you can do the QR code and they're narrated. So that's kind of cool. Archaeological digs in recent years have uncovered some interesting insights about this site's past. And then you go do the QR code and enter in the number and it'll tell you the history. Sign in the Norman Gothic style of architecture with the tower integrated into the northwest corner. Longtime light keeper James Davenport extinguished the light at the close of the navigation season in November of 1906 as directed by the National Lighthouse Board. In 1913, the lighthouse and property passed into private hands. It returned to public ownership in 2008 when the county purchased it from the Pepper family to enhance recreational opportunities for all. The so here they've got a, like a sculpture of an eagle. That's like the actual size of an eagle, of a bald eagle. They have a wingspan between six and eight feet. That's amazing. And then this is, they and they did a replica of a barn that was originally here on the site. So we'll go in here and check it out. These are all things that they found when they did an archaeological dig and they when they before they rebuilt the barn. Ironstone, plate fragment, brass knife handle, pump organ reed, porcelain doll head. That's from a deer. Glass buttons. That's really cool. Boyd's genuine canning jar lid seal. Juvenile pig tooth. This is the objects recovered on the Gulpin Barn site. Tell us that about the lives of the lighthouse keeper and his family. An oil lamp lit the barn while the keeper worked with his tools. In their free time, they made music on a pump organ and the children played with their toys to make it through the long winters. Deer was hunted, pigs were raised, and vegetables were preserved in the canning jars. You know, looking out at all this kind of nature, it's probably what a lot of it looked like back in the colonial days. All the pine trees and the overgrown grasses. It's very peaceful here. There's a pine tree there. All right, I'm gonna walk into, take a peek at the lighthouse. Here we are in the lighthouse. This was the uh, the dining room, I'm assuming. And then we got a little bedroom. Very small little bedroom, but there is a closet. This is on the family, uh, James Davenport and his family lived here in the 1870s. And they had 10 children. I don't know if they had all 10 children when they lived in this particular home but a little parlor room I did say in the barn that they entertained themselves with the pipe organ or pump organ pump organ the organs in there and then here's a little study and we're trying to make our way to the top oh here we go Oh, someone's coming down. We're going to let them come down. Let's see. 44 steps. Patrick McGulpin was the namesake. They arrived in America with British forces in around 1760. This is a beautiful little place. But over here, before we walk upstairs, we have, this was Mr. Davenport. And that was his family. And it said that his wife 
died in 1891 from complications after the birth of her 10th child. We're gonna go up. I like these little wooden cats they have in the windows. These are cool. All right, here we go. 44 steps. Up. The lighthouse. Watch your head. Okay. You're halfway there. <laughs> There's a little, there's a little peak. Oof. Boy, Donna, you got up those steps quick. <laughs> Here's another little peek out the window. Me? We're almost there. Hot up here. Ooh, it is hot up here. Tuck down this little. Where are they? If I can fit through here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, we did it. There's the bridge. Pardon me, I am out of breath. There's the bridge. In Lake Michigan. Hello. You're coming out. Missed it. Not a bad view. Well, happy oh. Thursday. We're home. Happy Thursday, October. No, it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, October 4th, but we're home from Michigan. I know we left you for a, a few days, but you were with Papa, and Papa always takes good care of you. So you were just fine. But are you happy that we're home? I know, I missed you too. Mr. Fluffer Pants missed us too, but he he doesn't really care to stick around. He just, he, he, he told us. Oh. I know. But I didn't film anything today. We did stop. It was a uh, seven, eight, eight hour drive. We drove straight through. We did stop once to stretch our legs at an antique mall, of course. Oh. It was a good antique mall, but we, they were closing. We got there at like 3.30. 345 and they closed at five. The whole trip, as far as antique buying goes, not that great. I don't, those of you that live in Northern Michigan, I don't know how you do it because I couldn't find hardly anything. It was so expensive and there really wasn't, okay, I, we, they, they've already heard you. Let me speak for a minute, okay? Um, but it was rough. I didn't get a whole lot and I, I know. And being in Mackinac, as you notice, I didn't I didn't put out any videos because we had really bad internet, and I kind of wanted a break, so it was good to take a little bit of a break. Tomorrow, I'm am going back to the shop. I've got eBay orders. I'll pull those and show those to you. I also have some friend mail, and then I might end this vlog a day early because it's probably pretty long with the lighthouse and the island and all that kind of stuff, and then opening friend mail. So I probably will end it tomorrow, um, and then just kind of take Friday off and just kind of recoup and everything because I have an extremely busy week this coming week. And then on the 15th, we leave for Vegas, which reminds me, Boss Reseller Remix. You can still get tickets if you want to attend virtually. I do have a link. Just email me and I will send you the link. You can send me an email through Junk or Vintage Hunter at gmail.com and I will send you the link where you can save $10 off of your virtual ticket. I am one of the speakers. I'll be speaking on Wednesday, the... 18th. That's my dad's birthday. 
That's Dad's birthday. And then Mark's birthday is on the 20th. Um, so I will be vlogging that week being in Vegas with Mark. So um, I know we're going to leave you again. Like I said, you're going to be with Papa, and he takes good care of you. So you're in very, very good hands with Papa. He overfeeds you. He gives you treats all the time. He takes you outside whenever you want. So you're pretty spoiled. You are fine. So tomorrow, but I got, I got a busy week next week. And I'll kind of recap what I got going on next week. I'll do that tomorrow so you'll know what the happenings are next week. I got two sales on Monday. I have a sale Tuesday and a sale on Thursday night on Virtual Antique Marketplace, which is going to be exclusively on Virtual Antique Marketplace, otherwise known as VAMP. So it's not going to be streamed on YouTube. It's just going to be exclusively, I think, on VAMP, probably. I, I think. So make sure that you're a member. Make sure that you're a member of VAMP. It's free. Go to virtualantiquemarketplace.com and you can sign up for free so you can watch that sale. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It's worth $75. So make sure that you are a member. I'll fill you in on more of that um, tomorrow. But I'm getting ready to go to bed. Happy Thursday. No, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, October the 5th. I'm back at the shop. I got, I did sleep in a little bit. It felt good to be back in my own bed, cuddling with my animals. So it was, it's good to be home. But I got a lot to do this week. So I wanted to show you the things that sold for me on eBay and Virtual Antique Marketplace while I was gone. On Virtual Antique Marketplace, I sold these two little giraffe salt and pepper shakers. They're so derpy and cute. And then this little home studio painted boy and girl. I just thought that these were adorable. They were hand painted by Shirley. No, to Betty from Shirley. There isn't a date on them, but they were done really, really nicely. Oh, here he goes. 1972. So those sold. I just, I'm a sucker for those studio pieces. Um, and then on eBay, old Jimmy Cutter. A vintage Jimmy Carter for president. Now, you can see this didn't sell for a whole heck of a lot. It's not worth a whole heck of a lot. But I did get it in a big box of other things that I've already made my money on. So it is, even the couple dollars that I probably made, is pure profit. And it's an easy thing to ship. So I went ahead and listed it anyway. These also sold. They are vintage Super Mario Brother coins. I think I got them in a Goodwill grab bag. And put those up on eBay. This is something that I got at a vendor mall. It is, you can see here, it's a small world Disney. So this is the North America doll from It's a Small World uh, Disney doll. Probably sold at the gift stores, I would assume. Um, I bought a couple of them and she was the one that I had left. Also sold, these are Pioneer Woman. I did pick these up. I got the entire set for them, I think for $1.99, maybe $2.99 at a Goodwill. They are new. And I did list, they are like new open package or something. Two of them have the original barcode thing on the bottom and two of them don't. But Pioneer Woman stuff, look, check out for it because there are certain patterns that she doesn't make anymore and people are really wanting them so i did actually pick up another couple sets of these from a place i went to over the weekend uh, so those sold uh also sold this vintage crayola marker parker i just love this actually this she's gonna they're gonna ship together they sold to the same person this is from so from the 90s very much a not an early 90s piece i don't know if it's dated on the bottom here yeah 1990 Benning Smith, Crayola, Marker Parker, just memories. That was just a memory thing. This is something that I got in all my Halloween lot. She's a spooky studio, a spooky witch with a happy tree. Uh, this sold on eBay. It was in that big Halloween lot that I got. Uh, the caboodle, this is a vintage caboodle from 1992. It's in pristine condition. And honestly, I don't think it's ever been used how do I get you open? Oh, there we just got to pull you open like that. This one was the larger size one. As a kid, I had the smaller one. This one has the mirror and the whole pull-out deal. This, oh, 
this actually pulls out like that. Almost like a tackle box for your makeup. But it is very, very clean. Like I said, I don't think it's ever been used. So that sold as well. And then this is a beautiful piece of ephemera here. The Marionettes, a toy theater presenting the play This Way to Animal Land. Uh, I am going to see, let's see the copyright date. It is in the listing. Yeah, I did put it in the listing. But this is a child's uh, activity book that they could have put on their own little play. Look at the little anthropomorphic flowers. And it's never been cut out. It's never been used. So here are all the pieces. These are the tickets that the child could give away. And then these are the little puppets. So you could put them on a stick and have your own little marionette show. Uh, this is just a cool piece. I think it's from... I would guess from the 1930s. Look at the Puss in Boots. And I don't know. This is just a magical piece of ephemera, I think. So that has sold on eBay as well. So I'm going to get those things packed up and taken to the post office today. And then when I get back from the post office, I will open up some friend mail. And then I'm going to end this video. Because I have a lot to do today. I have a lot to do today. Um, and this vlog's probably already very long. As they always are. But I appreciate a lot of people leave comments. We love the long ones. We love the long ones. So you know what? Sometimes they're going to be long. Before I leave, I'm going to show you. Um, be looking out for the reels because I will be having a sale Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. You're watching this on Sunday. Oh, well, maybe. But it's going to be Monday the 8th, I think. I'll put it up on the screen, but Alex chapter two vintage co and I are having a sale together. These are the things that I'm going to be selling on Monday. I will be putting up a reel. So paid. So be on the lookout for that. I've got this masquerade wigs, this great graphic on it. These little cats, black cat, uh, salt and pepper shaker with, Oh, just fell over with the, uh, black, uh, red wear cat we've got i've got the black and gold fish chalkware fish some uh finials an october angel made by napco holt howard cows merry mushroom shakers these uh vintage halloween fortune cards with the flower frogs i'm going to include with that this beautiful piece of kimple amber candy dish and this beautiful amber swirl vase. Those are all going to be sold on Monday during my sale with Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And then Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, over on Mother Tucker Antiques. I will be selling more things. I already have them all wrapped up. I'm not going to unwrap them to show you, but it's going to be Monday night, 8 o'clock p.m. Be looking out for the reel. That will be coming out as well. And then Tuesday, I'm pulling stuff. I still haven't got it done yet, but I'm pulling stuff for Tuesday sale. It's going to be 1 o'clock Eastern over on my channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And then Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I kind of alluded this a little bit yesterday. I'm going to be doing some, let me turn the light on, tiny treasures. It's going to be a buyer's choice. Look at that. Look at him going to be a buyer's choice tiny treasures look at that angie cat look at her and some jewelry some ribbons and some receipt spikes and some vintage cards hey treasures thursday 7 p.m eastern over on virtual antique marketplace so make sure that you're going over there you're looking at the vendors you're, you can shop over 65 and we're going to have more we're going to have 30 more added uh next week so it's just a it's it's going well thank you guys so much for going over and supporting these other vendors we really really do appreciate it we're working really really hard to make this a a curated and vetted place with trusted sellers that you know that you're going to be uh buying from sellers that we highly recommend and um you know, are kind of following some 
some guidelines for shipping and those sorts of things. If you've applied to be a seller, please be patient with us. Michael and I are going through every single one. We're going all, we have over 300 applications. We're going all the way back to the very, very beginning and pulling on. But please keep in mind, if you are a new seller, I'm not quite ready at this time during fourth quarter to be doing how-to videos as far as shipping. That will be coming. I just can't do it at this moment. Um, so just bear with me. Probably at the beginning of the year, I will start doing where I'll be at bringing on and um, helping new sellers begin their reselling journey as far as shipping and those sorts of things. So please just be patient. We're doing the best that we can. It's just Michael and I going through all of these applicants. Plus, we're also trying to run our own businesses. and We don't have a staff. We do everything all our own. We do have Virtual Antique Marketplace has wonderful, amazing technical staff that are there like that to answer questions. But as far as running our own business, it's only he does his own, all of his stuff. I do all my, all my own stuff. I don't have anybody that answers my emails or ships for me. I don't, I do it all by myself. So I, I'm just, please bear with us. We're doing the very, very best we can. Um, so I know that you're, it's, everyone's really excited. We're really excited, but we're trying the best that we can. We're really wanting, we're not wanting to get ahead of ourselves. We're wanting to do it the right way. So please be patient with us. I'm sorry. I wish I could just like, everybody can come on, but that, that can be problematic. That can be problematic. So just bear with us. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff shipped and get started on this, the other things. Then I'll go over and open up some friend mail and then I'll be ending this vlog. Okay, so I'm getting ready to open up some friend mail, but I wanted to show you what Emma had done. She, I got these prints for her um, and she and a friend of hers, but they did spooky paintings and she gave me this one. So you can see she put a UFO up there. She was wanting to put a cow up there, but she ran out of time. But then she's got some um, ghosts and pumpkins. This was very much like a summer photo. So she put like an orange wash on it and stuck little ghosts in the fields with some pumpkins and then made the leaves more of an autumn feel. But I love it. And I'm going to take it home and hang it up. I actually have it hung up there, right there behind me. I actually might leave it there the way you can see it. And I'll leave it up all year round. I will. Because ghosts can be year round. I love it. It's so cute. Cupies, Cupies approve of the ghosties. Okay, so I have two boxes here, and I've had these, and I got them last week, but like right before I left for uh, Michigan, so I just kind of brought them inside and figured I'd open them up when I got back. This first one is from Linda Cardwell. She lives in California. This one opened. There's a nice card on the inside right on top that says Misty. That's me. That's my name. Oh my gosh, look. A Merry Halloween. The little black cat, little vintage jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh. Star, you know what? Wait, today's Thursday. You know what tomorrow will be? I didn't have Starbucks Tuesday this week, so I'll have Starbucks Friday. Aw, from Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. Linda sent me a Starbucks gift card. I'm going to take it out of the little sleeve and lay it right there. And her card says, Hi, Misty. Just a note and a couple of goodies to let you know how much I enjoy your channels. And I love to watch all of your buying trips. Thank you for sharing your family, friends, pets, collections, and enthusiasm with all of us. Happy spooky, Susan. Or, no. Happy spooky season. I'm sure there's lots of spooky Susans out there. Um, Halloween is such a happy, fun-filled time of year and a time to send warm wishes to the people we hold dear. Happy Halloween, your friend Linda, a fellow Hoosier but living in Southern California. I'm jealous, Linda. On some things, not on all things, but I love California's weather and I love Southern California. So, but you probably miss fall. So, it's a good trade-off. <gasps> oh. Linda, Linda, Linda. Well, first of all, she sent me some uh, tissue paper that I will re that I will reuse. But look, it's a Squishmallow Spooky Mystery Squad Squishmallows. And look, it's shaped like a cat. Oh well, we're gonna open this right now. Gotta find the opening spot. 
I think that's it. Ooh, are we going to get it on the, oh, we got it on the first try. Oh, hang on. That was pretty anticlimactic. Here. Oh, that, that wasn't any better. Oh, look at him! He's a spider. I think, yeah, he is Seymour Spider. He's so cute and fluffy. Oh, but don't ask me why I have to smell him, but I do. So his little bio on the inside, because you know these Squishmallows come with little bios. His bio is all... All hung up there together. So Seymour, his squish date was August 16th, 2022. And it says Seymour writes for a food magazine. He does, Seymour. It says this month's issue features lots of fun Halloween recipes. So Seymour hasn't been has been testing and writing about all the different festive dishes. Seymour's favorite dish so, so far is the pumpkin cheesecake. Good choice, Seymour. He loved the little, he loved the little whipped cream ghost topping. Yes, I did, Miss J. It was so good. Seymour, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, Linda, thank you so much. That was so sweet. And I love this. You can keep things in here. I don't know what. But we're not going to keep Seymour in there because he wants to be out and free. But thank you, Linda, for the Starbucks and for Seymour. He's so cute. Here, we'll put him. Can you see? We'll put this little peepee -pee right there. We'll put Seymour right there. He can hang out with all his friends. Yay! Thank you, Linda. This next box is from Jay Cozy. J Cozy. That's how it is. J dot K slash U Z Z I. J Cozy. I like the stickers. Look at this one right here. Got to cover up everything. Look that right there. That's that cat's that cat showing you its butt. I like that. That's that's fun, little cat. Just letting you know who he is. J Cozy. That's clever. All right. And inside the box, we got paper that I will reuse. And here is the card. Oh, it's stickers. Look at the stickers. We got stickers coming out of a typewriter, a field of stickers, and a little daisy sticker there. And here is the card with a sticker on the back. We love stickers. Did you know that some people don't like stickers? Madness. That is pretty. So, Jane Goozy. Jay Cozy. I'm thinking like Jacuzzi. Is that what that was supposed to be? Okay, and it says, Hi, Misty. I want to express my appreciation and gratitude for all you do. Thanks for sharing your knowledge and exp experience. I'm an artist as well as a reseller. I started my shop on Etsy with handmade jewelry and have now added vintage jewelry. I have, I also sell on eBay. I'm the selling is slow, but I'm persistent and hanging in there. Yes. Yes. Jane, you hang in there because it has been a little slow. eBay has been pretty slow. I enjoy your video so much and I love your personality and honesty. I identify you in many, I identify with you in many ways. Keep it up. Uh, take care and don't burn yourself out. You know, as with any job, we go through a little bit of burnout, but my burnout with reselling doesn't last very long. Like I could not wait to get home. We actually came home a day early because I was like, I got to get back to work. Just sending you a couple tokens, including my own design note cards, and I thought that you would enjoy the plate. Sincerely, Jane Jacuzzi. I'm going to say it wrong, Jane. I'm going to call you Jacuzzi from now on. But look, I wonder, Jane, did you make this card? Look at that little bird. Oh, that's special. Okay. So what did Jane send? Again, with some tissue paper that I will reuse. So Jane makes these cards. Oh, these are, look at, first of all, look at how pretty that is. I know that this is a simple way. I, I cannot make mine look as good 
as this. That takes talent there, but I will reuse that ribbon. All right, so these are all Jane's note cards. So I'm hoping, Jane, that you have somewhere on here. Okay, Jane M. Guzzi. Okay, so I don't know if that's where you can find Jane on Etsy, but that's her card. I'll, when I, I'll open up this one right here to see if there's more information. So there is her card, Dharma Flower Jewels, and her email. These are lovely. Look at that. Aren't these so beautiful? Oh, wow. They're very, like, mythical. Look at the little fairies and stuff. Oh, I love that one. very organic. I bet, so she did make, she did make this card. These are lovely, Jane. Look at that. These are so cool. I'm going to include these in some of my giveaways too, but I'm definitely going to reuse those and send those off to friends. All right. So check out, so check out Jane's Etsy. And so, this is a plate, she said, and it's double boxed. That's safe. Good thinking, Jane. That's why I hate, I don't buy a lot of plates for resale because they do break. I'm not that brave. All right. And packaged very nicely. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, wow. I need to get a plate hanger and I can hang it on this wall. Love to you today, tomorrow, and always. It's little cuties. Wouldn't that be a cute tattoo right there? I gotta go get this. So this is um these are cupie plates by Cameo. And these look really nice hung on the wall. So I need to get some plate hangers and I so I can hang them on this wall behind me. That is so cute, Jane. Thank you so very much for thinking of me. I love that sometimes people think of cupies and they cupies or liberace. And they think of me. That just, that makes me so happy. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much, Jane. I really do appreciate it. I don't know why I'm doing this. Sometimes I'm just awkward and don't know what, where to put my hands and what to do with my hands. But that's why I'm usually always moving them around. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here today. I got my shipping done. I'm going to get a few more things listed on Virtual Antique Marketplace because I have slacked at that. I've also slacked getting things listed on eBay. I tend to cross list uh, some things. So I'm going to do that a little bit today. Tonight I'm going to edit. I'm going to hope to get a video up soon. I know that I haven't had one up at all last week, but I didn't have very good reception. This vlog was just kind of a combo of a lot of different places of Indiana and Michigan and this, that, and the other. But that was my week this week, and I wanted to share it with you. Thank you guys again so much for watching these vlogs. It really does mean a lot to me. I have a lot of fun making them, and I feel like that when I'm talking into the camera, I'm talking straight to you, and I hope that you feel like you're spending a little time with me and experiencing some of these fun things that I am blessed to be able to do. But thank you guys again so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget Monday, 1 o'clock Eastern, over on this channel, I'm having a live sale with Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And then Monday night, Mother Tucker Antiques over on Jason's channel. And then Tuesday, right back on my channel, Thrifty Junker Vintage Hunter. I'm having my normal Tuesday sale with Michael. And then Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm having a live sale on virtual antique marketplace so make sure that you are a member it's free to join i'd go ahead and register as a buyer because i've got some pretty cool things that i'm going to be selling and i'm going to be giving away something that's worth 75 dollars so you you don't want to miss it so make sure that you are over there for that and uh i will continue vlogging again on monday and editing some videos but i got a busy week next week because I'm going to Vegas on Sunday, the 15th. We fly out to Vegas to, to go to the Boss Reseller Remix. Again, 
If you're wanting to watch virtually, you can send me an email and I'll send you a link where you can save $10 on your virtual ticket. If you are an eBay seller, if you're an e-commerce seller, you don't want to miss it. It's a great way to kind of get revitalized and attend a conference to kind of just kind of get you hyped up and get you prepared for fourth quarter. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Ball, hit a man, put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my